We moved here about two and a half years ago full time. We had had this house when we still lived in Virginia. And we moved onto a campus simply because we have moved 14 times in our life. And I have painted and redecorated and fixed and, and we're tired of doing all that. And we wanted to get into a place where we didn't have to worry about the upkeep at this point in our life because we spend our time doing other things, grandkids traveling and our work in the community. It was easy for us to make that decision. I myself do a, uh, some volunteering here on campus. I've given a couple talks up at the, the nursing home. I get the mail from the post office on the weekends and bring it to the office. I've helped my neighbors with uh, some gardening and so forth. Well, I think um, everyone needs a little help at some time, whether it's a ride to a doctor. Planting a few extra flowers around the lamppost because you have a few extra and um, it's hard for a neighbor to bend down and um, get them into the ground. Pulling a couple of weeds as you take a walk. Shirley and I, certainly it's important simply because we're retired and we have time. We have certain talents or skills to, to add, but my passion is education especially for young people who are coming out of families uh, that are either poor or dysfunctional. And I got involved, I got lucky, I got involved in a, in a program up in the Canton City School System that is a special program to try to break the generational poverty gap, which just tends to go on and on. And one of the ways you do that, it's not the only way, but one of the ways is you, you get one of those children in, coming out of the family get them into college and get them a college education. So I drive up to Canton a couple times a week to be involved and I'll be there tomorrow morning. So that's one patient. Now the other patient is the sharing of history. We like to, to tell the historical stories. Those are just two. So there's other things that we get involved in. You know, on the financial side of supporting our, our patients and Walnut Hills is one of those supporting Walnut Hills. We're blessed that we can share a little bit financially with for example, the Benevolent Fund. I think each of the Greencroft campuses has a Benevolent Fund. And so we choose to support the Walnut Hills Benevolent Fund. There's two of them. One is for staff, that's a separate fund. And the one we give to is the Benevolent Fund for residents. That's for people who either don't have the money or after time run out of money so that they don't have to leave campus. Each of the Greencroft campuses has a charitable fund that will subsidize the differential between the way I understand what the residents can afford and uh, what, what the, the cost of staying on campus is. And you know, that's just, that's, that is a good way to support your neighborhood, the campus and the people that live here, so that nobody has to be displaced for financial reasons. I think everybody wants to be happy, healthy, and, and doing Easy. something they feel good about. And those all tie together. So if you're doing something you feel good about, it's gonna help you with your health and, and your happiness as well. So that's kind of the way we just look at it. And I've been retired for a long time. I retired early, so I've been retired for 20 years. So I had to have something to do, otherwise I would have driven my wife crazy. <laughs>